Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do this. We are doing our first jam of the uh, improvisation course. It's going to be an e, a, a minor pentatonic jam. Uh, so we already worked on the A minor. So it's going to be like this. Very easy. Just that 5, 8, 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 8, 5, 8. Bam. Easy. Um, now, what we're going to do is I'm going to play a groove. I'm going to do a solo. And then I want you guys to then start having solos and just having heaps of fun. Now, what I will do is just give me feedback on this immediately, please, if anyone's jumping into this. Uh, this is the format that I want to do all of the uh, looping videos for you. Uh, sorry, not the looping. So the improvisation videos for you. I will just make loops and we'll have heaps of fun and you will shred and I will be so impressed with you. Um, one thing that I do remember, because I did a similar style video a while ago, um, just for the YouTube channel ages ago, like one of the first videos I did in January. Um, but I would like you guys to jam with me. And so I will go like these first ones. I just want you to focus on improvising. I want you to focus that when, when I start soloing, stop soloing, um, listen to what I'm doing. Uh, because I'm going to be trying, I'm going to be trying to dumb down what I do so that you guys can start to hear uh, like more basic ideas that you can build up on. Um, and then I also want you to have breaks. You do not, when you're improvising, improvising, want to sit there and just improvise and improvise and improvise and improvise. Um, that that's also another trap. I used to do that a lot um, when I was practicing, and I thought I was like, oh yeah, I'm just every time if you if you're giving more at bats, it's gonna work. It's like no, you need to be like uh, intentional with an idea, build the idea, and then stop, and then move on to the next one. Do the idea, stop. Do the idea, stop. You don't want to be like, idea, idea. Uh, oh, uh, you don't want to do that. You want to be like very intentional because depending on where you're at, most of the time, the solo is designed to step in and just play. Like you're going to play a, like an eight bar solo and then you're out. You're in, out. That's it. Um, I don't expect any of you to be Steve Vai or anyone like that. Um, if you are someone like that, then just ignore me because um, you're better than me and uh, go listen to other people like Steve Vai tell you how to build insane arrangements for five minutes because uh, I'm, not, I'm not here to teach you that. I'm here to help you get a wicked guitar solo and then peace out and then continue playing the song. Now, you want to build your phrase and then, and then dip out. So the first thing that you're going to do for every single song that you ever do is you're going to listen for the groove. And then I want you to rhythmically listen to what the groove of whatever's happening, rhythm, and and just like you either tap it, tap tap a table, or like strum the gut, or whatever you want to do. Um, and then that will give you the, the vibe. Now, I'm going to play this groove, and we're going to hear it. One, two, three, oh, go. So this groove I've got... So that's what we're doing. You're just getting that. You can either sing it, you can tap it, whatever you need to do. Just keep it easy. Bum, 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 bum. Got it? So the reason why I want you guys to get into the groove of the rhythm is that is how you're going to be playing through your scale. You And now you can, if you can remember that, so already, if I just play through the pentatonic scale, it already sounds in the like it's grooving. Talk about how rhythm is OP. Rhythm is the most overpowered thing in the world. If you can connect to that, you're immediately connecting. Now, 
two things I'm doing right here. I'm playing the right notes in the right, in the right key. I'm not going. That's wrong, right? Those are the wrong notes. I'm playing the right notes in the scale. So that is the, the pentatonic is being my friend right now. Not my enemy. It's my friend. And then the next thing I'm doing is I'm just playing to the groove. And uh, immediately that means one, I'm playing in, in tune and two, I'm playing in, in time. I am officially listenable. If you can do that right off the bat, I am so impressed with you and I'm going to be the happiest person in the world. Please post videos of you absolutely slaying that. I will be ecstatic. It will just make me the happiest person in the world. Um, I really cannot wait. Now, when we go into this, uh, this groove, uh, I'm going to jump in. I'm going to play a solo and then I will stop and I'll be like, now it's your turn. And then boom, I'll push the, the loop pedal. We'll give it a try. I'll see if that format works for you guys. So have a listen. I'm going to go through a couple of things and I'll, I'll just like talk you through my soloing process. So first things first, let's go. So straight away, I'm like thinking, let's, let's come in and just like, we'll see how we're at. Don't be afraid of space. So simple, just keep it easy. That's not so easy, I'm sliding. Now a long one, you see that? I know it like when I say, oh, really easy, really easy. What I don't mean, I mean like it's easy in the sense that like if you can just build that tension resolution, that's the easy part. Obviously, I don't expect you guys to be jumping in if you're a beginner going or doing that. Just do whatever your version of that is, which could be as simple as. Like that's got tension resolution. I don't know how else to say it, but hopefully that is making sense. Um, now it's up to you guys. Let's go. I'm going to count it in my head. This is going to be awkward. I don't know how this goes. I'll just be like dancing and grooving. Um, and I'll just let you guys have fun. I'll just record like heaps of time for you guys. All right. One, two, get ready and solo.
Sick. Uh, hopefully, that was a lot of fun. Now, <laughs> I'm going to coach you through it now. So that's you guys messing around having fun. Now, this is the point uh, where we're going to do some real meat. Uh, I'm going to be coaching you guys through some improvisation. So we're going to jump in. We're going to do it. I'm going to be calling it out, and you guys do what I tell you to do. All right. One, two, three. Come in and go. We want to keep it chill here. Build up on your idea a little bit. Stop building. Stop thinking of creating a lot of tension as much as you can. Build up that tension. Because here comes one. Two, to the tension to the wall. And just really dig in. Now stop thinking about how you're going to come out of the solo. Get ready to finish your solo. This is it. You're so low now. Okay. See how that goes. It would feel terrifying the way that, it, like, I, I remember when I first did this as an exercise. It terrified me because I was like, oh, my God, I have no time. I have no time. Um, you don't have time. That's actually very generous how much time I'm giving you. But um, that's how much time you get. You you get probably a lot less time, especially if you're playing with other people. They will do a solo. No one wants you to solo for a minute, buddy. They want you to solo for like 10 seconds, 15 seconds, and you're out. In, out. So that's what we want to practice. So I'll give you an example of it, and then I'm going to give you guys a round of it. So I'm going to do a really short one now. So this is going to be short, short jams. One, two, three, um. Uh. Let's give it a go. See how you guys go. One, two, three, take it easy, go. Move it out. And now we're bringing in the big guns. And go. Now get ready to finish your solo. Finish in three, two, one. Um, cool. So that's like the faster version of, uh, of how it's going to go. Now, you have those, those multiple examples of how you're going to do this. Uh, if I don't know how it works, but if you want, do you want me to... Oh, you guys give me feedback on this video, but just for the sake of it, every I want you guys to... Re, like you can replay. I'll timestamp the video on YouTube for you guys so that you guys can be like, all right, this is the, like, the loop uninterrupted... Um, this is a loop where Luan is like coaching me and then this is the loop where it's really, really short um, to like super stress you out. Um, uh, but what I'll do now is I will just, um, because if some of you do want, I'm because I'm, it, it does serve me sometimes to just like be able to just really take my time with it. So I will just push play on this loop and I'm just going to leave it for a long time for at least like a couple of minutes, like two or three minutes. It also will help with the YouTube retention algorithm, but um, <laughs> Shh, don't tell anybody about this. All right. It's our secret making loop videos for everybody so they can stream out of YouTube videos. What, what? All right. One, two, here you guys go.
course I would play the wrong fucking chord at the end. Oh my god, what a dumb... <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys had fun playing solos over the A minor. Um, that is the format that I want to do these improvisation videos. I want you to jump in. I want you to have fun. Um, please go through the coaching portions of the improvisation. Just rewind it. It will be. It will probably give you the most value. And then if you get really bored and you're like, no, I just want to like play for like three minutes, just play the ending. I will timestamp it all. Um, and then, uh, yeah, good luck. Um, give me feedback. If you like this set, I won't record another. I'm, I'm just telling you guys right now. I am not recording another loot video until you guys give me feedback on this one that you guys have done it and that you enjoy that format. And I will just, I, w I could do this all day. I will give you like a million backing tracks and we will have a great time. All right. Can't wait to see you guys absolutely kill it. I want to see the videos. Please post videos in the school. Um, I really want to see you guys killing it. Please, 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 please. I can't wait to see and see your feedback. All right. Stay safe, everyone. And uh, thank you for jumping into the improv uh, portion of the course. Let's go.